Hello friends, this video statistics part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. For example, we have to find the middle guy. So, let's suppose there are guys here. I'll, I'll draw the guy here. This is one guy, one guy, two, guy, three, guy, four, guy, five. Let's suppose they're five people. This guy is four feet. This guy is five feet. This guy is 5.5 feet, this guy is 6 feet, and this guy is 6.5 feet. Correct? And you have to find the middle guy. How will you find? First, you have to arrange in the ascending order. Since it is already arranged, you need not do anything. But typically, you have to arrange in the ascending order, and then you have to find the middle guy. Here, the number of people are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 people. So the middle guy will be, if the n, we know that if n is odd, Middle is nothing but middle term is nothing but n plus 1 by 2. So here n is equal to 5. So middle term will be 5 plus 1 by 2. That is 3. So third guy is the middle guy. 1, 2, 3. This guy is the middle guy. So we can see that this is the middle guy and this is the median. For this data, 4, 5, 5.5, 6 and 6.5, the median is 5.5. And here, this is also nothing but central tendency. So we have two kinds of central, in fact, three kinds of central tendency. So this is also one of the type of central tendency. Both are different. We'll explain you that also. Median is nothing but we have to find the middle guy. And to find the middle guy, we found the median. To find them also from median, I can tell that if the median is 5.5, I can tell that 50% of the students here are less than or equal to 5.5 height. And 50% of the students here are more than or equal to 5.5. Correct. See, in median, we can say that whatever value came, okay, 50% of data, data is greater than or equal to median and 50% of data is less than or equal to median. From median, we can say this. From mean, we can't say this. From median, we can say this. I'll write median here. Don't get confused. Median. So from median, we can get this data. Then we have to find the middle guy. We use median. And from median, we can tell that 50% of the data is less than median and 50% of the data is greater than or equal to median. Correct? We'll take one more exam. So we have to find the median where the number of data is odd. For example, price of tomato. We'll take one example. We could have taken the last example only. But let's take this example where the price of tomato is odd. So you went to a vegetable market, want to inquire about the price of tomato. The first guy told you 16 rupees per kg. The second guy told you 15 rupees per kg. Third guy told you 18 rupees per kg. Let's suppose I'm assuming this. Fourth, let's suppose told you 20 rupees per kg. Fifth told you again 20 rupees per kg. And sixth guy told you 16 rupees per kg. And now you're confused. All the shops are different way. You want to find the median now. So what we'll do, we'll arrange data in ascending order. So it is 15, 16. 16, 18, 20, and 20. So we have arranged this in the ascending order. Now we have to find the median. And I'll find the mean also. I'll tell you what mean says and what median says. So let's find the median. Number of term is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Number is 6. And we know that this is even number. And for even number, what is the value of mean? So value of mean will be 2 sum of the 2 middle terms and divide by 2. For example, I'll tell you, in case of n is equal to 6, for odd number, the middle term is nothing but you find the value of n by 2 and you find the value of n by 2 plus 1 and you take mean of this. So here n by 2 is nothing but 3, this is 4, so this is 3 and this is 4. We'll take mean of this. 16 plus 18 divided by 2, that is 17. So we can say that median of this data is 17. And when we say median of this data is 17, we can say that 50% of data is greater than equal to 17. And 50% of data is less than equal to 17. That is true also. If you take 17 somewhere here, right? So 3 data is less than 17, 3 data is more than 17. Correct? 
So from median, we have got this conclusion that 50% of the data is less than median, 50% of the data is greater than median. For the same thing, if you find the mean, let's find the mean and see what mean is trying to convey. For the same data, the mean will be 15 plus 16 plus 16 plus 18 plus 20 plus 20 divided by number of term is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. This is equal to this is equal to 1632 for T50, 90, 105 by 6. That is equal to 6, 6, 6, 45, 6, 7, 42, 0.5. This is the value. Correct. If you see the mean and median are almost same. Generally, in case that if the data is not skewed, that means if you have extreme values, mean and median almost same. But when I say mean, median is equal to 5, Sorry, when I say mean is equal to 17.5, what I mean to say is if I buy 1 kg from each shop, the average cost will be 17.5, right? That is the value of mean. When I say mean is 17.5, that is the average of this is 17.5. But when I say median is 17, that means 50% of data is less than 17, 50% data is more than 17. So you got a difference between mean and median. Let's take Let's try to understand why we do we need median. Median extremes the ignores the extreme values. That is not done by mean. I'll show you. I'll take an example. So let's suppose we're talking about salary of a, uh, of a person live, I mean a group living in a colony 90 per day. So this is salary per day data. Right? Of some people. Let's suppose they are people who are in 95 rupees, 96 rupees. 97, 98, 99, I'll take over 99, 100, 101, 101, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 people who are getting the salary per day. 96 to 105. There's one more guy, he's a rich guy actually. He gets 1 lakh per day. He's a big businessman. He also stays in the same colony. And this guy is a 14th guy. Now, now I want to find the average of the salary. What is the average salary? The average salary will be if I will be average first finding the mean first mean is the average so mean will come out to be 95 plus 96 plus 97 plus dot 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 you add all this thing plus you add one like also divided by 14 right because they are 14 people so this value will be something like one lakh and this will be actually 1300 that's why i am creating data like this because this plus this is 200, this plus is 200. So this is by 14. And the data will come out to be something around 7,236. This is the mean. So let's suppose if a mobile company wants to launch a mobile in this colony, he will assume that the average salary of these guys in the colony are 7,236 7, rupees per day, right? And then he will launch a costly mobile phone. But the mobile phone will flop because 99% of the data, most of the guys are in this range. Right? Most of the guys are in this range. This is the maximum range. Most of the guys are in this range. So only for because of this one extreme values, the whole data is inconsistent now. Right? Though this is the central tendency. The mean if you see, if you draw the graph, this will be the actual mathematically, this is the central tendency. But in real life, mean always doesn't give the true picture right because since this data is very high this is this is called skewed data actually such kind of data is called skewed data where you have most of the data in one range and then you have data in extreme values so for skewed data mean will not give you a clear picture such kind of data we need median if you want to find the median of this guy median of this median since the number of terms is 14 right and this is even so then the median will be We'll take n by 2 and we'll take n by 2 plus 1. We'll find the average. That means we'll take 7th and 8th term average 
so this is seventh and this is eight, right? So average will be hundred plus hundred one divided by two. So it is hundred point five rupees. Hundred point five rupees, and this is a decent data, right? So if I say if a mobile company is launching a mobile phone with the assumption that the average or the median salary is hundred hundred point five rupees, that mobile phone will be hit. Because most of the people are in this range only. So what we have seen, in case we have skewed data, right, where we have extreme values, since the mean is not ignoring the data, so whatever mean comes, that is not relevant actually. So for such things, for skewed data, we need median. For example, I told, in case of sales for a colony, these are the people staying, and this is the average salary, right? Some people like ultra rich. So if you include those guys also, the data comes out to be very high, and this is irrelevant for sales team, correct? So this is one example of median. Also, even if you find the mean, right, the mean can't give you any picture. For example, I want to find the value from which I can say that 50% of the population is below this, and 50% of the population is above this. Such thing I can't say using mean. For example, I can't say that 50% of the population. Earns more salary than seventy seven thousand two hundred thirty six, and fifty percent of the people earns less salary. We can't say because this is not the case. So for this also we need median. So from hundred point five, I can say that fifty percent of population, the current population is the population in the colony. Salary is greater than equal to hundred point five, and similarly. Fifty percent of population salary is less than equal to hundred point five. Correct. So from me, I can say such thing that fifty percent of people are less than this, fifty percent of people are more than this. But from media, I can tell this. But from mean, I can't tell this. Correct. So in case of skewed data, if you are taking the extreme values also, the the median that comes out. Is sometimes irrelevant for team like sales team. In that case, we use mean. But again, now the question will be: when we when median is better than mean, why not always use mean? Median. I'll explain. This. Let's compare median and mean. So as we have told, in median it ignores the extreme values, and from median we can tell whether the fifty percent data is less or fifty percent data is more than median. We will have a point to tell. In case of mean, all data is given equal importance. Sometimes, for example, in physics. You are trying to find the length of some object, or let's uh, let's leave the physics term. You want to find the length of an object, where the finding length is difficult actually, right? So what you will do? You will do. You will find length one. You will find length two. You will find length three. You will find length four for the same object. Let's suppose this came out to be ten point five. This came out to be ten point six, ten point seven, ten point eight. Now you don't want to miss anything. You want to take each and every value. So in that case, you will take mean of this. So if you take mean of this, all these data which you have found is given equal importance, correct? And you'll get the exact mean. There are scenarios where you want to find the exact mean. For example, in the class also, you have students who got ninety, and you have a guy who got twenty, right? Now in this case, teacher want to find the exact mean. What is the average? What is the average marks the student has got? In this case also, you can find the mean because here the skewed data possibility is very less because the number of marks that can the maximum is hundred and the minimum is zero. The range itself is low, so the skewedness is not possible here. But in case of salary, a person can earn zero salary also. A person can earn earn ten lakh also per day. So in such kind of data, the skewedness is more. So where the skewedness is not there, mean is useful. Where each and every data is given equal importance. The disadvantage of median is that the data at the extreme is not given importance. But sometimes you want all the data should be given equal importance. So in that case, we can use mean rather than median. Correct? When you want to find, we have a scenario where you want to give importance to all data. For example, this class in the class, the marks obtained 90, 80, 70, 60. You want to give importance to all data. Then you can use mean. Correct. Now, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.